Hello, welcome to this video. In this video we will be talking about one interesting topic. It's actually dashboard design. I'll be showing you some tips to improve your dashboard appearance. So let's get started. First we have some simple dashboard here. Basically we have our values, for example we have KPIs here. Also we have some map stacked column chart that is representing regions and also we are able to see this ship mode dimension and also category dimension for the second one. Besides that we also have those tables that are showing some data related to states, regions, cities and so on. Basically we are presenting profit here and below we have also four charts. As you can see those are two down charts that are representing ship mode and category and also we are able to see trend analysis, for example, profit by year and profit by quarter. So as you can see, we have all charts completed. Now we need to improve design of our dashboard. So let's see how can we do that. Let's see how I would like for that new dashboard to look like. If I click on this first page here, we will be able to see our dashboard. As you can see, this is completely different than the previous one and as you can see it's much easier to read your data and basically dashboard looks much better. So let's see how can we improve our existing dashboard. If I go to this second page, then first I will need to change these colors. First I would like to add background color. So how can I do that? If I click on that, if I go to team and layout, I will be able to choose my team. This time I'll be just using this customize option and I'm gonna customize my current team. So for this report background I'm gonna using this black color and everything else could stay the same. So if I close this I will be able to use the team. If I click on that as you can see nothing happens. So let's check another option how we could do that. So if this situation happens you will have another option to change your background color. If I go to page current page settings. Let's go to style and now I'm gonna change this color. Let's put black. And now as you can see we are able to see everything in black color. So that's perfect for now. But as you can see we have a lot more things to change. So first I will need to change this one. If I click on this shape I will be able to change for example color, this radius, also, I can make it more transparent, which I will do now. I'm gonna put, for example, 20%. Let me see, that looks much better. And now let me insert shapes for each of these charts. I'm gonna copy this one and I'm gonna paste it here. Okay, perfect. Now let's rearrange those shapes. First I'm gonna need to resize it. And let me also change this, let's put for example 5, just to, to see how it will look like. I think it's better, maybe maybe we, we could try with 10. Let's try with 10, 10 is perfect. So let's use 10. I'm gonna resize this. And also what I need to do if I click on this, if I go to this order, I'm gonna click on this send to back option. If I click send to back, I will be able to use my cards which are located above my shape. So that's that's the important distinction. Now the shape is below those cards. So if I copy this, I could for example present it like this. Let's try like that. I will also do the same order send to back. Okay, perfect. Let's copy one more time. I'm gonna place this here. Let me resize this a bit. Let's also resize this one. Okay, perfect. Let's copy this shape one more time. Uh, now this looks much better, but let's also fix this. I'm gonna also need to send it to back 
for this one I'm gonna do the same order send to back also for this one and for the last one okay when I do that I will be able to see some metrics let me just for example we can see that for example this one we could actually put together maybe so I will just remove this this here and I will resize this one let me just get to it yes perfect let's resize this one okay that looks much better now I need to resize it one more time let me just click on that I think this should be like this it's much better let's resize this one also for this one it needs to be the same okay perfect now what can we change so first I would like to remove this border around this chart so let's do that let's go to style and let me find that border so border color transparent if I click here then this border is no longer visible so that's perfect let's put it like this and that looks much better now we need to change color for these titles so let's start working on that now instead of this black color I would like to use let's use some orange color let's, let's try this one if I click one more time on this if I choose this one let's yes let's try this if I click here this looks much better but also I would like to uh, resize this chart one more time and this uh, sorry this uh, shape and also I will need to resize this one and then this one here okay this is much better now I need to put orange colors for each of these for category and we have those two left this is orange one and profit by year will be also this orange color okay perfect now that we completed that I would like to also change value color in these tables so let's click on this table let's go to style and now I will be able to change those colors so let's for example for header let's put white and for table labels let's also put white and now this looks much better let's do the same for for this table if I put white here and white here now this will be much better now that we completed that I would like also to change colors for these labels also for these line charts and maybe I could change color for this geomap and of course for these core cards so let's start with core cards I'm gonna click on style instead of black let's use white color and instead of manually doing it let's just click on this copy and paste special paste style only also paste special paste style only and we can do the same for the last one this is much faster way let me move this a bit I'm gonna place it here because I would like to add um, I would like to add uh, nice icons here Okay, let's place it like that and now I have icons already imported as you can see here but let me show you how you can import them basically those icons are images you will be able to click on this image button if you click on that you will be able to upload it from your computer if you click on upload you will be able just to click for example if you place it on desktop then you will be able to choose your file click open and you will be able to resize your image and to use it of course in your dashboard 
but because I already imported it, I will just copy them. So let's place it like that, and now this looks much much better. But we still have a few things to fix. So let's start with this GMAP. I would like to click on style and to change these uh, black dots. So I would like for them to be orange one. Let's for all of these put orange color. And now, in my opinion, this is much better also. Now that I completed that, I need to change colors also for these bars here and these, let's say, donuts here. Let's click on this. Let's go to style. And now, instead of dimension values in this color by section, I'm gonna choose this single color. By default, we already have this orange chosen. If you don't have, you just can choose. For example, orange color or some other one. So, let's pick orange one. Also for this one, let's do the same. Single color. This one is perfect. Let's do the same for this tone chart. Also single color. And for the, this one, also single color. Okay, perfect. Now let me change for these charts. Let me change those labels. Not this one, but style. Click on style. So in this grid section, for this axis color, instead of black, let's put white. If we do that, now we will be able to see our values here. If we do the same for the next one, so let's find this grid section, and this will be white, and now it's much better. Now that we completed that, we have two more charts to complete. Profit by year and profit by quarter. So let's click on that, style. So let me find with this grid option, let's click on that, white color, and also for this one. Ok, perfect. Now you are able to see how quickly you can change your dashboard and improve it with some simple tricks. I hope that you enjoyed this video, thanks for watching.